Every year, police in the United States shoot dead almost exactly a thousand people. Each incident is recorded by the Washington Post, which began its database in 2015, the last full year of Barack Obama's presidency. The leaders changed, but the numbers are remarkably consistent. Last year, as always, the vast majority of people shot dead by police were men. 40% were white, 24% were black, a statistic jumped on by conservative commentators. More white suspects were killed. But that's not the full story. There are, of course, far more white people in America. And taking that into account, African Americans are two and a half times more likely to be shot dead by police. But Candace Owens disputes even this. It doesn't matter what percentage of the population you represent, it matters what percentage of the violent criminal community you represent. And unfortunately, black community create, uh, um, commits a disproportionate amount of crimes compared to the white community. Now back to the data. Of the 1,003 people shot dead by police last year, 95% were armed, typically with a gun. Just 5%, 55 people, were unarmed. Nearly half, 25, were white. 14 were black. To be clear then, a total of 14 unarmed black people were shot dead by police last year. In most cases, officers were not charged because the suspect was either trying to flee or attack them. But in two cases, officers were charged for the killing of Atatiana Jefferson and separately Gregory Griffin. Conservative commentators say the data show police may not be perfect, but they're far from systemically racist. Others argue that racism in the police is so deep-rooted and takes so many forms that it can't be captured by the numbers alone. Well, thanks for watching our program. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and even subscribe.